Hi, and congratulations with your new RTX 4100 evaluation kit. In this video I'll show you how to get started with the evaluation. I hope you'll enjoy the ride. Ok, so what's in the box? The evaluation kit consists of 5 separate items. First the wireless sensor application board, also known as the WSAB or WSAB. Almost sounds like Wasabi, it's green and it's spicy too. You can see how the RGX 4100 module is placed on the WSAP with the board antenna sticking out to the left. The second item is the WSAP adapter. It will be placed between the WSAP and the FTDI cable, but I'll show you how that's done later. The third item is a little bag containing two AAA battery cells. We will get all of our energy from these cells as we continue. Well, we may also need coffee, of course. A three cell battery pack has been placed in the box just in case we want to feed the WSAP with a higher voltage. We won't be using it in this video. Finally, there's the FTDI cable. This cable connects between a USB port on your PC and the wireless sensor application board via the adapter. Don't worry, I'll show you how it's done. Follow the instructions on the label placed on the inside of the EVK box and download the EVK documentation package. The README First document will help you install the required software. You will need to download and install a driver for the FTDI cable and a terminal application called PuTTY. In the following, we will assume that this has been done successfully already. Now here's how to prepare your hardware for the evaluation. First, connect the FTDI cable and the VSAP adapter. Then attach the adapter to the VSAP. Make sure that all pins are aligned correctly. At this time, you can go ahead and connect the USB part of the FTDI cable with your PC. Insert the two AAA cells and we're almost ready to go. Start the PuTTY application and set it up as follows. Remember, the README First document will give you all the details, so don't panic if you can't quite follow the instructions in this video. First we must select the serial port connection type. Then enter the serial port settings menu and select the proper COM port. Set the flow control to none and go back to PuTTY's session window. You can save these settings to make it easier the next time you start PuTTY. Now power cycle the WSAP module using the onboard slide switch. The WSAP module should start dumping data to PuTTY just like this. Type help into the shell to get a list of available commands. The version command will give you all the details of the EVK hardware and software versions. The scan command will list all the available Wi-Fi access points within range. Use the Wi-Fi set app command to identify your access point and set the proper connection parameters. The connect command will make the RTX 4100 connect to the specified Wi-Fi access point. Using the SNTP command to request the current time allow us to quickly verify that we are internet connected. The disk command will make the RTX 4100 disconnect from the access point. That concludes this little introduction. There's so much more that you can do with the EVK. Read the downloaded documentation for details. I hope you enjoyed this introduction and I hope your evaluation will prove that the RTX 4100 is the right solution for your application.